In this video, I'm going to show you how to make music with Ableton Live Lite and the launch key. So by the end of the video, you'll be able to add drums and loops for instant inspiration from the one gig of samples you get free with all Novation launch products, make your own instruments and drum kits using the included samples and synths, add effects, arrange your track, export it, and upload it to SoundCloud. First up, setup. You get Live Lite included with every launch product, and it's really easy to download and install, especially with our getting started videos. So I'm gonna assume you've done that already. Now, all you need to do is plug in with the supplied cable, and the first time you plug in, simply tell Ableton that you're connecting a launch key so you get to use all the automatic advanced in control features. Now you're set up and I'll begin showing you how to play and make music. What we need to do is access the Loop Master's free collection of samples and loops, which you have access to upon registering the unit. Here I'm going to look for a drum loop and drag it onto one of the clip slots in live like so. Due to Ableton Live's warp engine, I can easily change the tempo of the song and the drum loop changes to match it. Now I'm going to drag in some more percussion to fill out my beats. I'm dragging all the parts I want to play together as a group onto one row so I can play them at the same time. You'll see that when the bottom in control button is lit, these samples appear on the drum pads, ready for me to trigger. If I want to trigger a whole row simultaneously, I press a round button at the end of the row of pads. To stop clips from playing, I can either stop a clip individually by pressing the empty pad directly underneath the playing clip, or press the round button to stop all playing clips. So now I'm going to show you how to import samples and create a drum rack. In the category section, click on Instruments, Drum Rack, and drag it onto the open space of the screen. You can see the drum rack appear here. Now from my Loop Masters folder, I can drag and drop samples into the rack. Drag the first sample onto C1 and with the bottom in control button unlit, when I hit the first bottom pad, the sample will play. Arrange other samples as you wish. You can also change the properties of each sample in the drum rack by clicking on the device and moving the rotaries. Make sure the top in control button is lit to do this. So now I can play the open hi-hat section along with the beats to add variation. When I want to record this into the session, I simply click here on the clip and play the section in. When I'm happy, I press stop on the launch key, double click on the clip and I can adjust the locators to reduce the loop duration. Also, as I've played them in a bit sloppy here, I can highlight all MIDI events like this, then click on Edit and select Quantize. This snaps the MIDI events so they sound a bit tighter in the track. Now that my beats are ready, I'm going to find a bass line in my sample pack and drag it into the session. So I've got beats and I've got a bass line, now I need some instruments. In the category section again, click on instruments and here I'm going to select pads and the Juno pad. Now that I've figured out what I want to play, I'm going to record it in in the same way that I did with the open hi-hats. The track's taking shape, but I want to make things a bit more interesting, so I'm going to add effects. On the old school Rhodes Keys part, I'm going to drag and drop a delay. In the category section, select Audio Effects, Delay, 
and drag the delay of your choice onto the channel you'd like to affect. Again, if I click on the device, I control the parameters with the rotaries of the launch key. Here I'm adjusting wet or dry, which is the amount of the effect I'd like to apply. Now that I've got a full section made, and I've added effects, I need to mix the song. Use the faders to adjust the volumes of each part, and the rotaries to adjust the pans. Make sure the master output channel isn't going into the red. If it is, bring down the levels of all of the parts. Finally, on the master output channel, I'm going to add a compressor to make the whole mix sound fuller and punchier, like this. So now I need to create an arrangement before I play it in. I've got my full section, but I think it would be a good idea to have a breakdown and a build up. I simply copy the parts that I want to appear in the breakdown section onto the row below. So that's my breakdown section, and now I need a build up section. I'm going to copy everything from the breakdown section into the build up section, but add some percussion. So now by using the up and down arrows of the transport controls on the launch key, I can scroll up and down through the rows of clips, ready to trigger them. To record in the performance of the song is really easy. Simply press the record button on the transport controls of the launch key and begin your performance. Once I'm happy with my performance, I can click on the arrangement view of Ableton Live and see all my parts laid out. To export my song and share it with my friends, I simply set the global locators to include all parts of the track and go to File, Export Audio. In this window, I can even automatically upload it to SoundCloud by checking this box. Export the song to the destination that you set. There we have it. I've made a song with Launch Key and Ableton Live Lite. Don't forget, Live Lite comes with all launch products. Thanks for watching.